John Muir once said, the mountains are calling and I must go. Today I am here at Kings Canyon Sequoia National Park. Um, I am planning on hiking the Ray Lakes Loop uh, for the next four days or so. Um, it is a total of 41 miles. I'll be going up in elevation to approximately 11,900 and something feet. Uh, I will be passing over uh, Glen Pass and uh, having a good time. So uh, it should be a, a pretty nice journey. The temperature is perfect. It is probably in the high 50s, low 60s uh, today. I don't believe it's going to get um, below 35 or so this evening. Um, I got in here last night about midnight, uh, stayed the night in a rental car, and then uh, this morning I am hitting the trail. So I will keep you posted as uh, I begin this journey. It's my first time here in sunny California and I can't see, uh, I can't wait to see what the state has in store for me. There's my first rattlesnake. He's a little guy, but he, he's poisonous. I'll leave you alone if you'll leave me alone. I'm a trail snake. Well, I'm about five miles in. I am walking along the trail right beside uh, Kings Canyon River or Kings River, whatever they call it. Um, the river is roaring. Um, as you can see uh, from behind me, the water is rushing. I definitely don't want to fall into there. <laughs> that would uh, that would be game over for me. But uh, it's still nice. It's getting a little bit warmer. But part of that is because I've been uh, walking up and down along some rocks. So other than that, it's beautiful out here. Have not yet seen a bear. I'm hoping to at least see one from a distance, of course, uh, before the end of my trip. However. I did see a rattlesnake. As you saw, he was a little guy, um, but me and snakes have a mutual agreement. They leave me alone and I will leave them alone. So I kind of, he was laying next to the trail and I just went around, kind of off the trail a little bit, just circling around. So, uh, but have another five miles or so before I reach camp. I'm looking forward to it. I plan on hopefully getting there early enough where I can just sit back, relax, eat something and just enjoy, enjoy nature. So with that said, I will talk to you soon. Now that's a waterfall. Welcome to Misty Falls.
Well, I made it. I am here at Upper Paradise Valley in the uh, Kings Canyon area along the Ray Lakes Loop. Um, I made it to camp approximately four o'clock or so. Um, I'm just resting for a moment in my faithful camp chair as I think about putting up my tent. So uh, shortly I'll be putting up the tent and getting things ready before it gets dark this evening. I plan on making me something to eat tonight. There is a fire pit uh, and I am allowed to make a fire. Uh, yes, here in California, right now at least, I can make a fire. However, as many of you already know, that might not happen. <laughs> so with that said, um, I have a long day tomorrow, so I'll probably try to get to bed as soon as the sun goes down. I may take a moment to check out the stars. Uh, last night when I was waiting at the trailhead, um, just the stars are amazing. Uh, you can see the stars so clear. Uh, but I have a long day tomorrow, uh, probably on another 10 to 15 miles uh, from this point until I get to Ray Lakes. I'll be staying at Ray Lakes uh, one night, maybe two. I haven't decided yet. Um, I may stay an extra night there, um, first at Upper Ray Lakes and then Bottom Ray Lakes the second night. So I'm still trying to determine if I want to do that to help myself uh, get accustomed um, to the altitude. Um, right after Ray Lakes, I'll be making a jump up to almost 12,000 feet. So I want to make sure my body is accustomed to that. Um, Ray Lakes is above 10,000 feet. So um, two days should help me quite a bit. So I, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet or not, but um, you will find out shortly. But I'm just going to get off my butt in a moment and set up my tent, and I will talk to you soon. Hey, I thought I'd get back on here real quick just to say goodnight. Um, it is starting to get dark. I thought I'd jump in the tent and lay down because I am tired. Also, the mosquitoes are starting to bite, so I wanted to hide from them. Um, I got a long day tomorrow. Um, I plan to hike to Ray's Lake, uh, which it's about a, probably close to 15 miles from uh, where I'm at right now, where I'm camped. So um, a little bit longer of a day than today, but I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, uh, I am considering taking a couple days um, or two nights there at Ray's Lake just to recover and to prepare for the big climb on Glen Pass. So until then, I will see you tomorrow on the trail. Yes, that's where I'm crossing.
Well, I just finished a uh, river crossing. Um, as you could see, it was very sketchy. Um, what you saw a moment ago, I made it cross to cross one section or one uh, river, and then there was a break, so I had to cross again. And the log that I was crossing, although the water was rushing underneath quite a bit, it was wide, so I wasn't too uh, concerned about losing my step. However, when I got to the root of the tree, um, it would have taken some scrambling down the root to another smaller log to be able to finish my crossing. And I did not trust the root. Um, with dirt and uh, weak branches or weak root, um, I could see myself falling in. So I had to turn around and do a bunch of bushwhacking to, to get back to the trail. And I'm on the trail again. Um, I guess the river must split quite a ways because I haven't had to cross that second section yet. So I'm hoping when I get to that crossing, because I know eventually I'll reach the river, um, when I get to that crossing, there'll be a bridge or, or something easier, uh, maybe some stones I can step across. Maybe it won't be rushing as quick at that part. So um, very sketchy as stated, but so far the hike's been, uh, been okay. It's uh, been um, hitting some ev uh, some elevation um, as I'm beginning uh, this day. It's probably gonna continue quite a bit. So it's gonna be a rough day. However, um, there is a uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and that will be Ray's Lake. So I'm looking forward to uh, hitting Ray's Lake, enjoying some time there, enjoying the scenery and uh, sharing it with you. So. With that said, I will talk to you soon. Well, I got a casualty. I guess when I was doing the bushwhacking earlier off the trail, I must have caught a tree branch and it ripped my under pad. Thankfully, it's just the pad that I put underneath my sleeping pad. So it's not real expensive. It's a pretty cheap pad, but it's still a bummer. Well, it's about 10 o'clock. I thought I'd stop here to refill my water next to the creek, as well as um, check out my gear. As you saw, I have some gear, gear failure um, but it's, it's minor, so I'm not too worried about that. But I did run into a couple other backpackers who are backpacking the same loop. And one of them actually is a worker here, um, in Kings Canyon. And he was talking how the bridge, um, went out or was washed away back in 2017. I know online, um, in my preparation, I saw online that it said it would not be fixed until after 2021. It is 2022, as you know. So I do not know the reason why it's not fixed yet. I'm sure there is a very good reason um, why uh, they do not have this bridge fixed yet. Um, but I was also informed by this gentleman that eight people have died since 2017, since the bridge washed out. And as you saw from the video, um, it's no surprise why. Um, hopefully uh, they get it fixed soon. Um, he said right now the river's minor compared to what it what it can be. Um, it, it can be even worse, and that's why people have died. They've tried crossing it and gotten washed away downstream. So uh, thankfully I made, a, made it across. Um, talking to him, I asked if there's any more uh, river crossings or creek crossings uh, from here on out. He said there, there are a couple, but they all have a bridge. So I'm looking forward to that, not having to waste an hour trying to find a log to cross in order to, and bushwhack in order to get back on my trail so with that said my break's over i just got done filtering some water um, eating um, a little chocolate salt peanut butter snack so it uh, was very good now i'm ready to hit the trail
Well, it's a little after 12. I thought I'd stop here, have lunch. I'm leaning against the tree. Um, it's been a heck of a day. Uh, a lot of elevation as stated earlier, um, but I was told this is the roughest day. So, um, and that's with Glen Pass in mind. So I don't know, but I'm gonna have me something for lunch, rehydrate, um, drink plenty of water. Hopefully we'll be um, coming up to a water source shortly. Um, I'm walking beside a river. However, there's a big cliff um, down to where the river is. So I'm not accessing the river from this, from this um, position. So hopefully shortly in the next mile or two, I'll be able to uh, refill my water. So with that said, I will see you later. Well, I made it to the John Muir Trail intersection as well as the PCT. Ray Lakes, here I come. I made it to the bridge. Here we go. It's the famous suspension bridge. Well, I just got over the bridge and as soon as I got over the bridge, I dropped my phone. So thankfully, I didn't drop it while I was on the bridge or I would have no phone. Uh, but it's uh, it's beautiful here. Uh, I just got done having a conversation with some through hikers. Uh, They're hiking from Mexico border all the way up to the Canadian border. So they're going to be hiking through California, Washington, and Oregon. interesting very friendly uh, group of people so they told me I will love Ray Lakes um, however tonight I think I may stop at what's called Dollar Lake it's about two miles before Ray Lakes I still have about three and a half miles to go until I get to Dollar Lake um, it's been a long day and since I was considering staying two days at Ray Lakes anyways I'll just stay one day at Dollar Lake and then I'll make my way two miles and then stay at Ray Lake. So uh, that's the plan as of now. And I will talk to you later at camp. There we are. Finally made it to 10,000 feet.
Well, I made it to Dollar Lake. Um, I am set up here. Oh, got everything uh, set up other than um, in the process of making my dinner, having Mountain House lasagna, yummy, uh, tonight for dinner. It is starting to get dark. The sun's already down, already set. Um, of course, it sets early here in the mountains, uh, but um, it's beautiful. The only problem that I have here is there is mosquitoes everywhere. So I'm looking to probably eat dinner real quick and then go hide in my tent so I can get away from uh, these little guys. So um, it's been a long day. I didn't make it to Ray, Lake, Ray Lakes quite yet. Um, I still got it only about two miles left. So like I said, I'll probably uh, tomorrow um, just take it easy and um, just slowly make my way to Ray Lakes and stay a night there as well before I hit Glen Pass. So until tomorrow, I will talk to you later. Here we are, day three. I am leaving Dollar Lake now. Um, it's late morning. It's about 9 o'clock, 9.30. Um, I just took my time this morning. I'm not in a big rush. I don't have a ton of miles to do today. I believe I only have a few uh, to get to Ray Lakes. Um, I plan on going to bottom Ray Lakes um, and setting up camp there this afternoon. I'm just enjoying the scenery, enjoying the, the lakes and uh, it was a beautiful spot i was glad i decided to stop here at dollar lake um, i was not disappointed i was able to, to sit back relax have coffee next to the lake eat breakfast and it was it was quite enjoyable so uh, the mosquitoes are cool are pretty bad here uh, of course any body water um, especially if it's still there's gonna be mosquitoes. However, mosquitoes don't bug me too much. Uh, this morning, I decided to go ahead and put on my head net, um, and that helps a little bit to the face, but I have long sleeves and everything else, so it's not too bad. I'll have a few bites, but nothing I can't handle. But I'm gonna enjoy the hike. Uh, I think there's a little bit of elevation, if I'm not mistaken, and then I will be at Ray Lakes. I will talk to you soon. Who's ready for some snow in June? Nice.
Well, it is about 1130 and I am here at Upper Ray Lakes. This is the main destination uh, for the uh, for this backpacking trip. Um, I've been hiking the Ray Lakes Loop and um, the view I have right now is well worth the uh, well worth the pain and well worth the hike. So check it out. It's about three o'clock. I'm sitting here at camp. Everything's set up. Um, plenty of water filtered. And I'm thinking about what I want to have for dinner later. Um, it's been a gorgeous day here at Ray, uh, Lower Ray Lakes. I've enjoyed the sunshine. It's starting to get a little cool. Uh, part of that is probably because I'm sitting in the shade, but uh, but it's not too bad. It's still comfortable especially with my, uh, with my fleece on, but I plan on just hanging out, um, met a guy, um, just came over, um, Glen Pass, he said it's pretty slushy up there, so I definitely want to make sure I have my micro spikes on tomorrow, and I'll walk carefully, so, um, I'm looking forward to getting to the top, and checking out the view, I'll share that with you when I get up there, um, I'm hoping to be done here. Um, I'm going to stay at one, one more, at least one more night. Um, after I get over Glen Pass, I do have an extra day just in case it takes me longer, um, where I can finish on Saturday. However, I think I'm going to try to finish on Friday. So, um, wish me luck. <laughs> well, with that said, I'm going to turn in here. I'm going to have dinner, um, maybe talk to Tom a little bit. Uh, so far, he's the only other person here who uh, who is camping along uh, Lower Ray Lakes. So um, so we may chat a little bit. He's from here in California, but um, he's not backpacking the same uh, trail I am. He's just out uh, backpacking some random trails, it sounds. But hey, to each his own. With that said, I will talk to you later. There's Glen Pass. I'll be climbing over that in the next few hours. Wish me luck. Well, I'm on the trail. Uh, I got up early this morning. It is about seven o'clock. Um, I thought I should probably hit the trail early since I have a long day of scrambling up Glen Pass. So um, as I'm hiking forward, I'm looking with a bit intimidation with what is ahead of me. I know it's gonna take me probably most of the day just to get over the mountain so uh, I'm not looking forward to it however I know it's what I signed up for so but one thing that I'm sure will make it all worthwhile is the view at the top it's gonna be gorgeous you'll be able to see from the top of Glen Pass all throughout um, at least a good section of the Sierras so I'm looking forward to checking out the Sierra Mountains um, from a distance. So um, with that said, I'll go ahead and show you what's ahead of me. There we go. That's what I'll be climbing up. Um, I know you can't tell by just looking, but there are switchbacks all the way up to the top. So 
Ah, oh, here we go. I will talk to you soon. Here we go. Up, up, and away. Well, the snow tracks just began. Uh, so far, everybody I've seen pass by um, did not have their micro spikes. They said it's, um, it's pretty clear as of knowing where the walkway is. However, I may end up putting them on shortly. We'll see. I will let you know. I'm making it to the top um, I don't think I have too much longer however the scrambling is um, insane um, I am just seems like I'm just hanging off the side, side of a mountain so this is how far I've come uh, already I've traveled quite a bit from Ray Lakes all the way up Glen Pass and I am going way over there so I think I'm more than halfway here I am at the top of Glen Pass I uh, got here about 11 o'clock, uh, a lot earlier than I expected. I plan on getting up here um, around noon, but I got here an hour earlier. So it's a beautiful view. As you can see behind me, there is Ray Lakes. And then if you look on the other side of the pass, down there, I will be heading down towards that lake. So the rest of the day should be downhill. In elevation actually the rest of the journey should be downhill in elevation um, I got the next two days to hike on out um, but it's been a fantastic time I am so thankful that I had been given this opportunity to be able to go and to rake and to hike the Ray Lakes loop so uh, until camp I will talk to you later Well, I'm heading down Glen Pass. It is a lot easier heading down than it was up, as you could imagine. However, I have to watch my step because I don't wanna throw out a knee or something. Um, going down is harder on your knees, so you have to be very careful. But it looks like on this side of the pass, the trail is pretty clear, so no snow. On this side, I was told by a PCT hiker that this side is clear of snow, so I won't have to uh, put my micro spikes on again. But I'm gonna just take my time today. I gotta go to Junction Meadows. I'm not sure how far from here that is. Several more miles. However, I believe it is all downhill. So uh, with that said, I will talk to you soon. some blue water. There's Charlotte Lake. And that's the direction I'm going.
there's some fresh bear scat. I haven't seen a bear yet, but he must be close by. Here I am in Junction Meadows. I just made it to camp. It is about 10 till 5. Um, still have plenty of daylight. I'm going to set up my tent shortly and um, get dinner ready. I am at a campsite where I'm allowed to have a fire and I may have a fire tonight. I know that's surprising, but it's my last night and if you can see behind me, somebody left me some wood. So, um, my nose is all red, sunburn, as you can see. It's, uh, it's been a long day. Uh, a lot of open, being open, um, above tree line. Um, I put on sunblock early this morning. However, I probably sweated, uh, it sweated off. So, um, so I should have reapplied and I did not. So I guess I'm going to be Rudolph for the next few days. Uh, with that said, I'm going to set up my tent. I just went and got some water from the creek, and so I have plenty of water for tonight. I have 12 miles tomorrow. I'm going to hike out tomorrow. Um, I considered staying until Saturday, but I think I'm going to just uh, hike out um, tomorrow, end it on Friday, and then explore the sequoia trees and, and check those out. So um, with that said, I will talk to you later. Good morning. It is Friday, six o'clock. I just woke up. I'm laying here. I'm still in the tent, trying to get the energy um, to, to get up and get moving. Um, I have a 12 mile hike today as I hike out. Um, like I said earlier, I plan on um, doing some exploring around the Sequoia National Forest, uh, checking out uh, some of the big Sequoia trees. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's going to be uh, still uh, quite a bit of a hike today, like I said, 12 miles. And um, um, but I think most of that is going to be downhill. Um, I'm heading that down in elevation now, uh, back to where I parked the rental car. So um, I'm just going to take my time today, though. I'm not in a big rush. I uh, I, I plan on probably staying the night in the car again tonight and um, just exploring uh, tomorrow and, and just uh, taking in everything that California has to offer. So with that said, I will see you shortly on the trail.
There's a sign of bears looking for bugs. There it is, Cedar Grove, just around that bend. Road's end, here I come. I made it to Road's End, ended up hiking approximately 45 miles, um, going up in elevation to 11,950 feet, uh, just short, barely short, uh, 12,000 feet. It's been a, a wonderful journey. Uh, it took me five days. I had six days scheduled, but five I was able to get through. Um, I had some daylight left, so I thought I would stop here at the Sequoia National Forest and check out the Sequoia trees and all i can say is amazing so if you're ever here in california this is definitely a place you want to stop and visit um, i never knew trees could be so big but uh it is a, a beautiful place an amazing place so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed going on this journey with me and i will see you soon